The IIP ICT Fund, an initiative of the Department of Science and Technology implemented by the CSIR Miraka Institute, was launched in 2014 and is focused on supporting industry competitiveness in the information and communication technology sector. The investment has already yielded over 36 SMME startups and well over 60 new commercial products, platforms and applications. We'd like to share with you six success stories born of the fund. MLab is an intervention to stimulate the innovation ecosystem, facilitating skills, product and enterprise development. MLab has a strong focus on skills development and we have partnered with the Innovation Hub and the Gauteng Growth and Development Agency to establish our Co-Tribe Academies, which teaches young people the skills to be mobile application developers, as well as agile scrum methodologies. Over the last year, for example, we've trained over 120 young people. The MLab has played a critical role in the South African mobile ecosystem, both bringing in young people, matching them with industry, making sure that there is excitement being built and an understanding that STEM is an important area for the economy to grow. The Data Science Solution Factory is linked to skills and enterprise development as well as industry competitiveness. The team uses data generated by monitoring smart trucks. We've been working very closely with the Department of Transport at a national and provincial level and we've needed their cooperation and their support for this project to go ahead. Collectively, we've been able to implement a project which has seen significant improvements in efficiency and safety in the heavy vehicle freight logistics industry. One of the shortfalls that we've had is being able to gather in the data from each operator every month, analyze it, and then provide feedback to the industry as well as to the Department of Transport. That's where the Morocco Data Science Solutions Factory has been able to come in and to assist us. The Ntika Group has gathered top ICT skills to bring to the African continent the Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 solutions. The CSIR offered us an opportunity to participate with a technology they developed called the Early Warning Detection System, which we see as prudent in this new digital age. How do we start to discover security vulnerabilities early on a network? So we were able to extract that technology and to integrate that in some of the other technologies that we have to address the security problem in this new digital world. And what has excited us on this journey with the CSIR is that we have a complete system dedicated to this digital and IoT world, uh, which is also one of the first in the world for us to take to market. The Nelson Mandela University Center for Broadband Communication was established to help develop resources to get all South Africans connected by 2020, as well as develop technologies and human capacity for mega science projects. In partnership with Cisco, we've been able to make an extremely valuable uh, contribution towards training students and and really getting very skilled expertise uh, in the country for achieving uh, the important technical goals specifically to do with the square kilometer array. Our contribution has been uh, significant in assisting the SKA South Africa team with developing the technologies to make the Meerkat and the SKA telescopes operational. Working with the IIP funding has allowed me great opportunities I'm from a town where science is not even recognized as a career. For me to come in now be exposed to such research, it has allowed me an opportunity to even expose other kids to that field. Cybergate has worked with the CSIR on its Micro Enterprise Multimedia Engine, or MEME, platform to develop added value services. Getting involved in the mobile IPTV space in itself was, uh, was, uh, was exciting. Uh, it's a new area, so it gave us exposure to, to not just the media space, but the broadcasting space. And then as a software development company, it gave us uh, obviously experience around the technology we built. Uh, we designed, specced uh, some very interesting add-on services. Uh, we built mobile applications for various kinds of clients. And then we built some back-end software. One of the objectives of the IIIP Fund is to attract multinationals to co-innovate. IBM came to the party to co-invest in ICT R&D and help develop skills for industry. For us as IBM, when we made the significant investment of 700 billion rand over 10 years, we wanted to make a difference to South Africa and its people. In the research lab where we currently sit, 
we have the wealth of IBM intellectual property which is available to South Africa and through the partnerships with the DST and the CSIR we make sure that we focus on innovative technologies which are dynamic that have the ability of changing the world. This year is largely focused on the development and co-creation of IP with small business beneficiaries that they can take to the market and commercialize, thereby creating jobs and increasing revenue. The partnership with Santec is focused on growing the telecommunications sector, rolling out digital broadcasting and helping to narrow the digital divide. Santec's interest in the industry innovation program was mainly due to the fact that it focuses on the roadmap towards uh, emerging technologies and convergence of uh, technologies using ICT. It has always been Santec's intention to explore convergence of broadband and broadcast as a way of sustaining the business and as a way of countering technology disruptions. The innovative future thinkers featured in this video are at the forefront of driving the change we want to see. They are the pioneers of tomorrow who will ensure that we move South Africa and the continent forward.